What's up everybody in YouTube world? It's your boy, Dr. Dre with Speed Doc 713, tapping in with you with another video. Um, I've been trying to bring y'all the heat, man. I've been trying to step it up a little bit and get right back into the groove. And so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell to be notified the moment that I drop a new video. Also hit that thumbs up. It really helps out in the algorithm. At least that's what I hear people say. But luckily I kind of just do this for fun, you know? If you all have seen us, if you all have tapped in at Flyover Traveler, if you hadn't seen the video, I'll let you know I rented a uh, 2017 Corvette Z, uh, C7 Grand Sport. Did a little bit of review on that. Well, my 911 is having some things done to it, some modifications as y'all may have seen. There, I kind of snaked you guys. In the last video that I dropped showing the mods that I'm gonna do and drop off and all that, there were two big, big mods that I left off. So, you know, you all try to hit that, hit, hit the buttons in the comment and see if you can guess what they are. But I said, okay, if I'm gonna do this to my 911, I need uh, something to cleanse my palate. I need a car or some type of car I can drive since my car will be ready in the next couple of days that's going to be similar to the driving experience that I'm going to get. You know, I'm talking about similar horsepower, similar, I don't know about the top speed, but similar acceleration numbers and quarter mile times. So I went on Turo, you know, a lot of people thought, some people thought that when I got my 911 that uh, that was Turo. No, it wasn't Turo. That one was mine. But this is Turo. So this here is a 2013 McLaren MP412C. Um, I don't know what those letters mean, kind of escapes me at the moment. Uh, I'll probably post it up in the, in the description when I do my little research, because this car actually wasn't the car I originally had selected. I actually originally selected on Turo a 2023 Audi R8 V10 Performance Convertible. But that car developed a problem at the last minute. The guy hit me up and said, yeah, the check engine light came on, the car is in a limp mode, man. He said, I'm really sorry, bro, you know, whoop de whoop which is odd for a 2023 car, but I'm still curious. I told them to hit me up and let me know what they found out was wrong with it. So this was the next best thing. Ironically, the brother whose car this is on Turo, he also rents out a 2011 Audi R8, but that one is the 4.2 liter V8, which is similar to the engine that was in my RS5. Where my Porsche is, is, is gonna be well beyond where that Audi was. So if I was gonna do an Audi R8, it would have needed to be the V10, right? So this McLaren MP412C, a little bit of a quick rundown. This was McLaren's first widespread sole offering. You had the McLaren, the Vonda McLaren F1, that's super rare and worth like eight figures now. Then after that, you had the Mercedes-Benz McLaren SLR program. This MP412C was their first standalone product. After this car, that's when you had the 570s and the 650, 675, 720, and then the old P1 765 LTs, right? But most of the entry sport line models for McLaren started off with this car right here. Now, like I said, when we're talking about entry sport line, this car still has a sticker of $284,000. So that's a hell of an entry, you know. This car would have been competing against a Lambo Huracan and the Ferrari 458, 488. I don't think it's quite fair to compare this car against a 911 because I guess the 911 to be closest to this <clears throat> would be a 911 Turbo S. The thing about the Turbo S is it does not look exotic like this. That's a knock against any 911 really, <clears throat> which is really gonna be interesting because this car from a daily driving perspective has shocked me in the sense that it was it's once you finally fold yourself into the car because i'll show you that in a second once we hit these doors it's more comfortable inside than the c7 or a c8 vet you know but it's not more comfortable than the 911 i felt like it's slightly more comfortable than the lambo huracan but not more comfortable than the 488 you know so i'm really shocked now in terms of usability 
for me, while it's cool and it's a great party trick, it's the doors. You know, I can't, I can't get with the, the door. I love the doors, but try to go to Walgreens and all that kind of stuff in this, man. This, it, it's not flowing. That's where the real benefit of somebody like me who's a working six, five, six day a week person and I don't just have disposable income to get three and four different cars that's at this level, that's where the benefit of like a 911 comes into. But let's take a look real quick. So yeah, y'all, I'm in the McLaren uh, MP412C. What it stands for, earlier I didn't have a clue, so I had to Google it. So MP4 means McLaren Project 4, okay? The 12C means the 12th iteration in their sport line of products. All right, just pulling out, y'all. So the MP4-12C is the McLaren Project 4 12th time they decide they're gonna do something, I guess. You know, I don't know. I don't know that part, that part I made up. But what I can say, after having driven it for a little while, um, it's actually dope. They're weird cars, would I buy one? No, absolutely not. Because they have a really strange history of reliability and they have really weird, you know, electrical gremlins and stuff like that. But what I can say, this car has been, I mean, solid. It's been very solid since I've been driving it. I've been impressed with its daily drivability. I mentioned in the earlier video, or I mentioned earlier in the video, that the car seems to have a, it seems to be more comfortable inside than like a C7 or C8 Corvette. Like once you get in the incredibly wide door sill or and get into the carbon fiber tub, then it's comfortable like this is this is comfortable the seats are very comfortable the materials top-notch um, the carbon fiber in here is nice like this is a nice car now here's the problem I do have with it while I love the design of the mp4 12c the subsequent McLarens look more garish and I get why this car is almost three hundred thousand dollars you know when new and it blends in like I've been in traffic, I don't see people breaking their neck or or anything like that. You know, I see maybe one little point, and it would be a half point. Like oh, dear, oh, oh, but it's not turning heads. And I guess if I pay three hundred grand, I, I guess you gotta I gotta break necks. Like I don't like the car three hundred thousand dollars worth. I really don't. But it's very very nice. And whatever the used price is, which right now is probably hovering about between 120 and 150 for use one of these and when i say use this car is really used i mean it's 12,000 miles and it's 10 years old so i don't know if i would want to hang on to a car like this not a mclaren this old i wouldn't have a problem getting a ferrari or well ferrari is going to be unreliable too but at least a ferrari goes up in value or a or a lambo the lambo is going to be pretty stout you know, now, when it comes to how this car drives, it's very agile. It, at low speeds, it doesn't respond as quickly. You can tell this is a car that 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 flourishes at the high speeds, at, at, at the seven, eight, nine tenths. Like at that speed, it, I mean, it's extremely responsive. You know, a whole lot of fun to drive. Um, it's cool, it's a cool car. I'm glad I had an opportunity to experience McLaren because I've sat in a Mr. Organic's uh, 720S, but honestly, that car was a bit too intimidating to drive. You know, like he, you know, he said he would have been cool with me driving it, but I was like, shit, that's not, excuse me, uh, that wouldn't, that's not, I don't think I wanted to fool with that, uh, that potential liability right there. Like, you know, the 720S, that's, that's a half a million dollar car, if not more, 700,000 type stuff, man. So, I'm cool on that right now. But this here, it's been enjoyable. It's really been enjoyable. It's It drives the way I would like a sports car to drive. You know, it's a very small V8. It's tur twin turbo. 
Um, you can hear it when you get on it. I mean, it's got some scat to it. It moves. Um, you know, and like I said, I can't reiterate enough. I'm so surprised at how comfortable it is in here. You know, it's it's a nice place to be. You know, let's see. Let's take a look here. Let me take you off of here real quick, y'all. So it's nighttime, but... You know, I'll probably give you guys some more daytime shots in the morning.